I was trying to save her life. <laughs> well, this grief-stricken mother is relentless seeking justice for her 16-year-old daughter, Naya May, who was killed by a stray bullet May 3rd while riding in a car with her mom and best friends. You can imagine the pain, and tonight... There are still no leads in this case. Naya's mother is doing everything she can in her power to try and find answers. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Fanchon Stinger. And I'm Dan Spieler. Police are now relying on forensics and a person coming forward to solve this case. Fox 59's Courtney Crown shines a light on the murder of this young child. Trying to pull her out of a car and help him give CPR to her to, to keep her alive, which I th I'm sure she was already gone, but I, all I could do, I couldn't even give her breaths because there was blood in her mouth. I had to tilt her head over and just pr start pumping her heart. Nikki Cope held her daughter in her final moments on earth. I did everything I could to keep her, to help keep her alive. Nikki, Naya, and her best friend Jayla's journey home from Indianapolis brought them to Arlington Avenue and 38th Street, where someone selfishly fired a random bullet, which hit the back of Naya's head as she rode in the car. No one fessed up to the crime, and police do not have any leads. When they are out living their life, how much do you hope that this bothers them to come forward? I hope every place you go, every move you make, Every time your phone rings, every time the knock comes at the door that you are worried, I hope that you can't sleep at night like I can't sleep, like my family can't sleep. Since the start of the year, 81 people have been killed in Indianapolis. Naya and Roderick Payne Jr., an eight-year-old hit by a stray bullet in his home, are in that group. I, I don't know what it is. It's that life is not a video game and guns are not toys, and when you pull the trigger, it's forever. You cannot take it back, and that bullet will go somewhere. Yesterday, a 10-month-old baby boy was hit by a stray bullet inside his home. Thankfully, he's okay. 20-plus shots fired where this 10-month-old was hit. 20-plus of people in a parking lot in an open area just randomly shooting with no regard to where these bullets are going to go. That's how we lost these two previous children. IMPD is confident they will make an arrest in that baby's case soon. They desperately want to make the same announcement for Naya and Roderick's families too. No good lead information to put us in the direction uh, of a suspect here. So we're going to have to wait for some forensic or ballistic evidence to come through, uh, or we're going to have to have somebody step forward. No, if you're a parent, that you don't want to lose your child. Courtney Crown, Fox 59 News. Now, Nikki and her loved ones invite you to come out to Arlington Avenue and 38th Street Saturday around 12.30 p.m. They're planning to sell shirts and bracelets and post signs to raise awareness about this case. There's also a reward being offered for more information. We want to put the word out once again. We know someone knows something about each and every one of these cases. It is time you step up, you speak up, and you do the right thing.